Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkio Wiersma and I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. So yeah, today we're going to repot uh, two Miltoniopsises that really needed a uh, repotting. One is an actual climber and the other one isn't looking as good as it should. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think those both uh, did need a repot. Uh, but we will start with three uh, Miltoniopsis, but I chose one not to repot, and you will see why in a minute. But I also mentioned uh, later on in the video that I would give you guys this example of a Miltoniopsis growing in a net pot, but I did forget. So that's why I'm doing this in the intro now, so you have an example uh, um, of one growing in a net pot and why I, use, I chose to uh, use these pots a bit more. Because, let me uh, show it to you guys, this is the one actually that I did get last year, if I'm correct, yes. Um, if I have a video, I will link it, I, I think I did a repot on it, at least show it. And this one was barely, almost root loss, uh, rootless, yes, and uh, it had one or two uh, roots left. So, but, let me show it to you guys, and it's a little bit difficult to get it out. But here we go. And you can see it. Look at that root system. So that's why I will try the other two. We will uh, repot in a minute as well in this setup. Yeah, the downside is to get those roots back in. But um, yeah, it should be doable. Let me, here is one it's pointing out and there a few. Let me check this side, <laughs> so it's a little bit, there we go, a little bit difficult to get them back in, but it's doable of course. And yeah, this one did take off very well, we have a nice beautiful large new growth here and two here. And as you can see, it's it's just putting out all those roots we just saw. So yeah, this is a, I think a nice setup for the Miltoniopsis. So that's why I choose uh, this setup for the next two. But uh, I just wanted to let you show uh, why. So let's uh, start uh, repotting two of my Miltoniopsis. No. Okay, so let's start this uh, repotting uh, session of three uh, Miltoniopsis. Um, so the first one is a very bit of a climber, as you can see, a fairly bit of a climber, which is working on two new growths, one here and one here. So yeah, this is <laughs> almost getting ridiculous how much this one is climber a climber uh, climbing uh, miltoniopsis but uh, we shall see what we can do with it so that's the first one we're going to take out then we have this one this is the breathless brilliant the other one was the maui mist the first one we just saw the maui mist but this one is starting her new roots on this new growth and inside are a fairly amount of dead roots, I think. So therefore I want to do a repot on this one as well. And then we have the saddest looking one here. So yeah, it's, this is a very strange growth. Whoops. And it's very uh, darkened here, <laughs> rotting, uh, rotting um, leaves, but they seem to be dry. So that's why I uh, did leave it on and also this one and i had it to spray it uh i think uh, a month or so ago for uh spider mites and apparently it didn't take so well maybe it wasn't dry enough or there was uh, too much of a damage of the spider i'm not sure but this one is just uh regularly speaking not doing so well technically how do you want to put it we have even a uh, brownie pseudobulb so this one is very bad but i will give it a try because this is i think it's the any eastern and if i don't forget i will uh, put some uh, a picture up of the flowers because these are beautiful but i only have one of these so yeah let's give that a try as well but we will still start with the first one and i will uh, let me see can we see it yeah i think we can see it well enough but yeah, we have some good roots to work with, but I think also a few dead ones. So let's take this out. And I did some repotting earlier this day of my um, my conifer plant. So I have a little bit of, it's a little bit messy, but we're going to make more mess. So it doesn't matter that much, I think. But yeah, where is the tag? 
let's put it there and let's get it out of its pot because oops like I said we should do some uh, cleaning up here and I have some Cintiq over here let me uh, zoom in a little bit so yeah this might be better so we have some Cintiq in there and I think a lack of air for the roots, I think. Maybe, I'm not completely sure, but it's not doing badly, but it could do obviously do better. We have some growing root tips still here. Even those roots do look fairly dark, they still uh, are alive sometimes. So we're gonna leave those, of course. But these, this back part of the plant, as you can see, it's very uh, dark, so I'm going to take off these bulbs because it's such a climber. It's and thereby I'm probably going to take off quite some old roots as well. So let's get those bulbs out of the way first. Come on. There we are. And let's just make a clean cut here. And take them off. And here we are. This is the part that I did take off as you can see it's very uh, these are really the older pseudobulbs so they can go away I don't have a pink color so that's beautiful so we don't have fusarium here luckily let's try to clean up the roots we have quite some older roots here let me uh, grab the scissors so make make this job a little bit easier I'm going to cut off as much of those old roots as I can just to give it a nice clean up this been in its spot for two years uh, yeah two years so not that incredibly long but it always can do with a cleaning up if these roots are uh, fairly old of course let me check and we have it out of the pot now so uh, I need to zoom in out a little bit more I guess yes so it's a little bit easier for you guys to follow look at the moss here <laughs> it's beautiful but I'm going to take off a bit maybe well I see some new roots actually in there um this is old let's get it off i'm thinking of removing this bulb as well this one then we will have one two three actually four bulbs to work with and new growth so yeah that should be fine to take that off as well because it's also fairly low that gives me the ability to put it up a little bit better later on so i'm going to make another cut and there it goes so it's a fairly small bulb but I need some space here oh beautiful new roots here as well so it's a nice time to uh, for a repot let's see even more and I think it will like the new setup with not as much rotting roots in the pot But yeah, that's for uh, in a few months we should uh, be able to see that. Uh, let me cut off this leaf. Yeah, here I see some new growing tips as well. Several growing tips actually. So yeah, it's going well. This is an old root, I believe. Let me check. Yes, yes, you can go. And you. Here we have more old roots. Let's just cut them off. And I'm just taking my time for this because once again I now have it out of the pot. So this is my chance to give it a fairly good clean up. Probably will miss a few of those older roots. That's not the end of the world. 
but once again while we edit just try to get as much off as we can let me check yes you can go you can go believe it or not this one is fairly firm <laughs> it's very dark but it's still alive as it looks so let me get rid of these some moss here yeah let's keep the moss there why not so on my check we have some brown a few brown roots here that i will cut off and then i'm going to leave it before i do more damage than good yes these that was an old one we have a few more old ones here almost done you guys there we go actually this is yeah i did cut off a few good roots it happens maybe from that last bulb i'm not sure but it's not the end of the world luckily but therefore it's now time to uh, stop <laughs> just checking the roots if these are alive yeah so i'm going to leave it as whoops i need the other side because i'm going to put a little bit of uh, cinnamon on there so i have this little glass container with a little bit of cinnamon in it i like to use the uh, name tag and then the pointy uh, bit and just get a little bit of that cin uh, cintic, of that <laughs> cinnamon on here, just like this, just a teeny tiny amount, amount, and put it on the wound we just created by taking off that last bulb, like that. So that wound can now be is now sealed because of the cinnamon, and that's better, of course. We don't want to get any bacteria. Or something in uh, in this orchid so i'm going to uh, put this aside and then we're going to unpath the next one so i did get rid of the uh last bulbs and the potting uh, uh, mix etc but now i'm going to sterilize i have my alcohol here actually 96 percent so it's very high and i'm going to uh, just put it on here and do an extra clean up you never know i think that orchid the miltoniops we just did isn't sick at all it's doing very well actually but it just needed to get uh rid of those rotting roots there were just a bit too many i believe in a pot and also i like to spray my scissors i should have done this first <laughs> because now i have alcohol there again and maybe some plant material so let me quickly grab a piece of paper so yeah i'm not always doing this in on camera but now you know how i do it and the last thing to do is just to clean up the name tag because you don't want too much cinnamon in your pot of, of course especially in the root area so that tag is clean as well let's get this one out of the pot because this one is a mess <laughs> it absolutely is a mess the pot is fairly filled with algae really disgusting actually but anyhow a lot of moss i do like the moss but it's a bit too much i believe because now it's barely any air is getting to the roots but anyhow let's uh, let's have a look I'm not expecting much from this one because it looks terrible. Terrible. But you never know. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Some roots, but they are fairly brown. <laughs> yeah these are old, old roots that might be a fairly new one 
who knows but I need to uh, get some moss off how much I do hate it because I l love the look of that moss in my pots but this one has a little bit too much on there I believe I might save a little bit just to put it back in a new pot because I, like I said I really enjoy the look of it yeah we have some roots there in that moss let's here's a big piece some Cintiq I'm going to leave that and then we have these older bulbs that are just coming off and that's okay because now I don't need to take them off I think I have quite a piece of rhizome here yes I'm pretty sure that is it I'm gonna cut it off because that's going to rot anyhow I think but the chances are very big here we are so yeah it's it's covered with this plug of moss but in there <laughs> is a uh, leftover rhizome yeah I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna throw the moss away um, let me check these roots are old and there's a lot of Cintiq on there so that's okay I'm not reusing the Cintiq I tried to uh, boil it a few years back but the smell you guys if you start boiling this I'm not sure if that's <laughs> if that's uh, um, the way to go with Cintiq so I don't uh, reuse it because yeah I think it's not ma meant or made to uh, get that warm so an old root just get if getting development off now we have the plant itself what a strange here we have a new growth we have some roots believe it or not let me uh, see you there let me see, let me see it to you <laughs> words are a bit hard i believe but for me today but yeah we have some uh, some roots and here on the back even more so something to work with these are all the roots i see let me get those off because we don't need them um yes one more time but you can now see that we even have let me point it out there a new root and here's also a growing tip it's beautiful i didn't expect anything from this like i said when we when i did take it out of the pot but we have uh, at least some roots so let's do the same thing i have the uh, cinnamon still here we did make a cut here as well so let's uh, put some cinnamon on that one so i think this is nicely in frame i'm going to do this exactly the same way i'm grabbing a little bit of that cinnamon on a name tag and you should be able to see it here i am <laughs> and i'm just putting it on there i see that i have a little bit too much that's okay it just stays nicely on a name tag so i'm taking this with me i'm not going to reuse it maybe you hear that but i tipping it off on the on above the uh, bin so that's now sealed it needs to dry a little bit so i'm going to put it uh, away this orchid for now and then we will uh, unpot the last one of this session and then it was already time to do the last one in this case it's the breathless brilliant which is having a, a root system at least or making one i should say whoops self-watering always <laughs> always water wherever whatever you do self-watering this has a fairly nice root system in there in the pot uh, but also some dead roots i believe so i yeah um do i want to take it out or not you guys let me show it to you i'm going to zoom in that's a little bit easier for me just just a second i'm going to let me 
Uh, I'm sorry for the glare. Let me put it like this. You see, those roots are healthy. Those little black lines you see, these strings, are uh, fern roots. So don't mind those, but these roots here are fine. So why should I take it out of the pot? This root is firm. This root is new. So yeah, I thought I would take it out of the pot, but it's nicely still sort of in the middle of the pot. This new growth, uh, enough room to, uh, to grow, a lot of moss. So uh, I'm not going to repot this one. I don't need to stress this one. It's doing wonderfully well. Yeah, this it looks beautiful. So uh, don't stress it if you don't have to, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put it in. It's been repotted in 2020 and it's fine. It's doing well, better than I expected. This has actually quite a good uh, root system. So I'm going to put it back. That leaves us with two orchids that need uh, needed to be uh, up potted again. <laughs> And I thought, well, we are at it. Just, uh, I'm going to demonstrate one of uh, how I make these pots, how I DIY these pots. So, uh, like I said, well, we at it, and I have the, the materials here, obviously. The other one I will do off camera, be just to save a little bit of time. But I have my scissors, a very strong, fairly big scissors, and I'm just pulling it through and turning it around. To make a hole just pushing these parts to one side like this and the other side and just twisting and turning it and that leaves me with quite a fair uh, big hole here and that should be enough well actually I think yeah it needs to be a little bit bigger so for the water meter to go through it's fairly big so i'm going to these parts are a little bit stronger so i need to uh, cut through them and i'm going to uh, break them a little bit like this just putting the scissors in and trying to cut through did we do that no not yet let me well, actually this one is a little bit easier to maintain i'm just Cutting it, and there we go. And I'm going to pull it, and yes, my thumb needs to uh, be able to go through. Then the water meter should go as well. And this is the water meter I'm talking about. And here we go. Because this, this is, uh, is it dirty? No, it's not dirty. <laughs> I just cleaned it up, I thought. But you see, this uh, water meter needs to come through because otherwise it will not reach the reservoir because these baskets will hang in a pot and uh, like this. So I can put it in now and when the media is in there in the plant, we have a nice way of to see, well, nice way to see if the, if the water is still in the reservoir or if we do need to give it a drink. But uh, normally I first, before I put a water meter in. I will make two more holes. Let me uh, show it to you. Just, you can very easily put your scissors through like this and just turning them around a little bit. So we have a hole there and we have a hole there. And you probably guessed it because we uh, need something to wick, obviously, the water out of the reservoir. And therefore I use these long pieces of Cintiq. These are about a meter long long enough but therefore it allows me to put them uh, through through the holes and have quite a bit of Cintiq in the reservoir and the other the end of the Cintiq will go through the other hole that we made here like this and there we go so it will look something like this so that can wake up the water the rest I will uh, put through the pots and I will take it fairly up so we don't get a dry layer and look at that 
the net pots, the amount of holes, so we uh, probably will not have uh, the problem with too uh, less air around the roots. And at the end of this video, I will uh, show you a uh, example because some some Miltoniops is enjoying this setup very well. <laughs> so that's how uh, I'm going to uh, how I do make these pots. Let me put it in. Actually, a water meter goes in, and there we go. So this is uh, ready to be potted up with an orchid. Now I need to uh, grab my pumice. Maybe you wondered which pumice I will use. Well, you saw it when I was on potting them. I did use the small pumice in most cases. Maybe here and there a little bit of lacquer, but I don't use lacquer. So I will use that small pumice again. Not the same one because I first need to wash that. And we will not do that in this video. <laughs> so before I get the orchid, I am um, going to put in just a nice layer. I hope just a nice scoop. And so that will keep the water meter to its place. And it looks something like this. So now it's time to uh, grab the orchid. So I chose to do this one first. It was the last one we did on path, <laughs> the very uh, strange looking one, but still it has a root system and I love these blooms. So uh, I'm trying to put this in the middle of the pot. I think this is the direction of growth. Maybe it will shoot out even more new growth, who knows. But I will try to uh, get it in the middle of this pot, something like this. Let me make a little bit more room so you can see and we have quite a bit of uh, moss still on there so i probably do not need more moss maybe i will i have the syntax here that i will put around a little bit around the roots and now i'm going to make noise again because we need more uh, pumice to fill up the pot and this small pumice is a little bit dusty so that's why I'm, uh, you hear me blow a little bit. There's a little bit of dust coming off. That's okay, but I don't want to breathe it in. So that's why I needed to blow a little bit. So, so far it looks like something like this. So you see the syntax here. Let me uh, put it like this. The moss actually does love growing on syntax as well because it keeps moist so nicely. I'm going to put in a little more pumice just on top of the uh, Cintiq and uh, on this side of the pot it's a little bit lower not in the back because there's not something growing so it doesn't need to be wet this side of the pot because there we have the old bulbs so I leave it like this and I'm going to use some pebbles and I'm going to use a little bit Oops, sorry for the noise. A little bit more pebbles in the back here. Once again, because these pebbles do not wick, so it might keep it a little bit drier there around the older bulbs. So, a little bit here and there. That's enough. It's more than enough. So, um, let me see. I'm going to leave it like this. I don't, uh, maybe I will use the moss, but I'm not sure. Not for this pot. It's okay because it has quite some moss here and it will probably start to grow again. So, let me pull this out. So, you see quite a lot of holes, obviously, and we have a nice wicking system going on. So, this is the first one. And now we need to do the other one. <laughs> well, and there she is, this beauty. Uh, I probably uh, did show some pictures of the blooms in the beginning <laughs> because the ears are so beautiful. Um, yeah, I see an old root here. Let me first get it off because I don't want to put this up. So, um, the only different thing I did, I used uh, the bigger pumice in the bottom. I have a little of layer of 
small pommels, but you can see the bigger pieces. That's just because to prevent a little bit more those smaller pieces of pommels to falling out, because I noticed in the other path I had a little bit more uh, pommels falling out, even through through those uh, very small holes. But it should uh, it works the same, so it's not uh, but it's that much of a different. Especially uh, this part, it's really it's connected i don't know if you can see it but it's just a very long whoops uh root so we have even a growing tip here at the end where is this oh there it is you see <laughs> so yeah i really want to make sure i did even cut out a few older roots and i see i did leave a part here it's a little bit messy i apologize but I'm just taking it slowly because uh, I have a few other roots there that I just pulled off. But you see this? Another growing tip and we have another growing tip there and there. So it's a beautiful time to rebuild. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to take my uh, time to do this well. Uh, because Miltoniopsis do not like to be repotted. So if I repot it, I try to do it as good as I can by um, getting as much old roots off because we do have it out of the pot, of course, now. So I'm now trying to put it in very gently. But I also keep an eye on those parts of moss because I don't want to bury them inside of this pot. And put it a little bit lower. Yes, I think we are doing fine so far. I'm going to make noise again because I need some media. Just a little bit, slowly. Putting it in. Just underneath those pieces of moss. I still can see them. I'm just holding one of those pieces of moss that you saw on the root system. So I keep them fairly high in the pot. You can see the other one is here. So I don't want to bury these guys like I said. And now I'm putting the rest of the Cintiq around here and especially a little bit on the knees those roots here coming from the plant so it's very quickly will touch the Cintiq those new roots and hopefully they will enjoy <laughs> and fill up the pots with new roots so there we go same as on this side so the moss is a little bit buried in uh, with the pumice, just pulling a pumice over, but that's okay. It will find its way and will be uh, back. And the same situation is here where we have those back bulbs and uh, where we did make the wound. I don't know if I can, let's, yeah, you can see it now, I think. It's pretty, uh, you can see, I can all the way put my finger in there quite far. I'm going to leave that on purpose once again, so because we don't want to keep those too wet and with climbers i do it like this i put quite a lot of big layer of pebbles here and way more wicking material on the front because there we have the new roots so i hope that does make sense i get uh, that question from time to time how to deal with climbers well if this isn't a climber what is <laughs> sorry for the noise so that's how i do it I'm just putting them in a angle like this in a pot and it works for me and for the plants as it seems so just a little top layer here just a little bit and the moss should find its way through again and also the roots will find a way uh, i'm going to cut that leaf off for you never know if some new roots will develop on that new growth it should be able to find the pot very easily he says yes i know <laughs> there's another one let me uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see it what i'm dealing with with this one this one is a little bit of a bit of a challenge let me get it those in frame so i just pull off this leaf over here because of this new growth but if we look here this is another new growth it's growing basically on top of this one so yeah how to 
get those roots there. That's a bit of a challenge. Um, but I'm going to break this leaf open. The one behind, in between these guys. And I'm just splitting it open. I hope you can see it. Putting it in two parts. And I'm going to... And normally I pull this downwards. But there we have that other new growth. So that's a bit difficult. Maybe I can pour it to the side more towards me so i don't push that new grow too much well that's not working maybe i need to split it again yeah this is easier i hope you can whoops let me get me hand out of the way split those leaves so you can see this part is now not touching this new grow so i can at least take that part off to make a at least a little bit of room there. <laughs> there we go. Um, grab the scissors and you may ask or you may wonder why I'm doing this now and not while I am repotting because then we can move all the way around etc. I'm doing this because we just did put it up with fresh clean media and we are making wounds so I don't want anything to touch those wounds and when you're repotting you have your plant out of the pot in my case it's normally get very messy so i'm always waiting on i put everything towards the side and i have a fairly clean place to work with these leaves because one more time we are making quite some wounds you can imagine so that's why i'm trying to keep it as clean as, as possible i'm not going to spray it i just let it dry off by air and that should be fine i'm doing this uh for years like this now and i never had any problems so uh so far so good yeah i'm going to leave it let me uh get a little bit closer here put my finger above it so we have a little bit of room created there for the second grow to hopefully Get those roots down there into the media. I have a fairly uh, bit of immunity here, so sh maybe should be fine, but it's, it's a bit of a challenge. It absolutely is, this one. So that's it. And of course, sometimes I put some Syntec here just to encourage this roots, but then again, we made some wounds, so I don't wanna make it too wet now. Maybe later on, I will pull some pebbles aside and try to make that a new Cintiq in contact with the media, keep it damp. But on the other hand, there's a lot going on here, potential for rot. So maybe sacrifice this one, maybe it will find its way, who knows? We need to uh, see what will happen in the future with this one. These guys. And um, here they are. <laughs> so this is back in its original place as the uh, other ones, of course, but this one is. Uh, the uh, Maui Mist, which is uh, the one with the two beautiful growths we just saw. Just a nice close-up. I did give it a flush, and as you can see, it has some water in the reservoir. That's because it's used to the water uh, in this setup. So I uh, just give it some or all water with some seaweed. Just to, uh, a little bit of seaweed. There's a, a bit of pebble, uh, pebble on the floor. <laughs> and there's the other one. Same story. After the repot, I like to flush them a little bit. And as you saw, we have quite some dust on these small pumices. It just happens, and it's okay. But uh, yeah, I like to flush it. And there you can see the moss. I hope it will take off again. And the one next to it, we decided not to repot. Also moss in it, of course. And look at those beautiful roots going there. So yeah, I don't want to disturb this at all. Don't know what I was thinking while I was checking it, because I chose to do a repot on it, but this is better. So yeah, and I really like this fresh new start for it, and let's hope that this one does make it, because once again, it's so beautiful. And this one probably will skip blooming again. And actually, this is a new growth from last year. Did it, oh, I believe, oh, uh, no, it's, did it make another one? Yeah, this one here. You can barely see it. It's, let me. This is also a new growth here, but you can see it's. This one is not doing so well, but luckily this one has quite a lot of leaves. But it uh, decided to start two new growths. Why not? <laughs> but yeah, I think that's uh, 
beautiful part it up again and yeah i hope uh, you enjoyed this i try to uh, put in as much information as i can when i do these repots but <laughs> I noticed, and you probably you did as well, that I sometimes have a bit of difficulty to do two things because I'm so focused on these guys because I know that I really, really, really hate repotting and I know myself, it's so easy to, to uh, break a root and with Miltoniopsis you can use every root chance you have. <laughs> So yeah, therefore I'm a bit more focused, but I hope anyhow you still enjoyed it. I did, and I will uh, keep you updated, of course, how these uh, guys will do. So thank you now for watching, and uh, uh, of course I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.